first I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my Ardell Brow Powder in the darkest shade. And then I'm going to clean up my brows with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I like to use my finger to clean up those edges so that you can't see the concealer, but it still does the job. Taking my Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. And then I'm going to pick up my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black and I'm going to place this all over my eyelid and then blend it out. I want there to be a nice dark base to build my eyeshadow on top of, so I'm going to use this black as my base color. I'm going to speed this part up because it does take a long time to blend out. You want everything to be seamless, you don't want it to be choppy. So take your time blending this eyeliner out. Picking up this burgundy color from the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette, I'm going to place this all over my lid. And you want to bring this all the way into the inner corner. Using this gold color from the Lorac palette again, I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to pick up my Morphe 350 palette and taking this beautiful coppery shimmer shade on the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to place this in my lid going about halfway in. I'm going to start from the inner corner go about halfway in. We're going to end up creating like a half crease cut with this but we're just going to build it a little bit at a time and make sure you blend those outer edges with another brush. I use the same brush that I put my purple on with but if you want to use a clean brush that's up to you. Now moving on to foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the matte and poreless one in the shade 220 and I'm going to blend that out with a makeup sponge. Picking up this purple shade from the Morphe 12P palette or any matte purple you have, I'm going to use this to contour, placing it in the, my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawline. And then picking up a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm going to place this in the deepest part of my cheekbones and then blend it out. This is to help the cheeks look a little bit more sunken in. I'm going to take some translucent powder and clean up that contour line a little bit. And then going to the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, I'm going to pick up the color Forever Young and I'm going to douse myself with this all over my cheekbones, my nose, a little bit on my chin. I'm kind of going to put this everywhere. You want her to have a nice glow. 
I'm going to pick up that light shimmery purple color that we put in our crease earlier and I'm going to add this to the bottom parts of our eye and drag it down pretty far. You want to kind of drag this all the way down to your cheeks a little bit because we're going to add some deeper tones closer to my eye. I'm then going to pick up the little bit darker matte purple, the one that we used to contour our face with, and I'm going to drag this underneath my eye, but I'm not going to go as far down as the light purple. I'd say to stop about halfway in between. And then finally, I'm going to pick up some black and blend this on the lower line as well, but I want to keep this color closest to my lash line. I'm also going to take that black and blend this into my temples as well because that was looking a little too light for me. The same way we blended out our lower lash line is going to be the same way that we're going to contour our nose. We're going to go we're going to go in the same order. So right now I'm using the light shimmery purple and then I'm going to take the darker matte purple and use kind of a lighter hand and not take up so much surface area. And then finally I'm going to go in with black and I'm going to concentrate this more towards the inner sockets of my eye. Again using a very light hand because you want it to fade from that dark color into the light purple. I'm also going to take that Forever Young highlight and place that down the bridge of my nose and in my inner corners of my eyes. Whenever I do my winged liner, I have to get real up close and personal to the mirror. So usually I tend to be out of frame without even noticing it. So I'm a little out of frame here, but just create a wing. Picking up this gold face paint from Graf Tobin, I'm going to start drawing on the symbols on my forehead. I kind of just googled some fortune teller symbols and chose the ones that appealed to me. So I drew this crescent moon and what looks like a little star attached to it. And yeah, I just drew that right on my forehead. Later on, I'm going to outline it with black because this gold it's kind of hard to see on my skin. But as far as the symbols go, you can just draw whatever you want. Google some fortune teller symbols and whatever looks nice to you, go ahead and draw that onto your forehead. Picking up some black face paint on a small detail brush, I'm going to start drawing some veins coming out from underneath my eye. Drawing the veins is really easy. You really just draw some little squiggly lines coming out of your eye and then draw some smaller squiggly lines coming out of those lines. And then I'm also going to take this black paint and outline those symbols on my forehead like I said before so that you could see it better. I then took some red paint and drew some more veins in between the black ones. Taking some gray eyeshadow, I went and shaded around that entire symbol on my forehead. I took that red face paint again and I started to draw little dots going down the bridge of my nose and also going down my chin. 
This part I didn't really look up, I just freehanded this because I thought it would look kind of nice. But I ended up taking off the one on my nose because I didn't like it how it turned out. And then I picked up that gold face paint again and I kind of drew what looks like tears coming out of my eyes but really they're just little triangles going down from my eyes to my cheeks. And then I picked up this liquid eyeshadow glitter. I'm not 100% sure at this very second what brand or shade it was, but I have it listed in the bottom bar. But I just added this glitter on top of that gold. Here is where I took the dots off my nose, and then because I wiped it off, I had to redo my foundation, contour, and highlighting. To prep my lips for lipstick, I'm going to line them with this NYX lip liner in the shade Prune. And the liquid lipstick that I'll be using is from the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection. This is the color Sauvage and is one of my favorite colors at the moment. For my chest, I'm going to do some quick contouring with the light purple shimmer eyeshadow that we use on our face. And for the deeper areas, I'm going to use a mixture of that black and purple matte eyeshadows. And then for my collarbones, I'm going to highlight them with that forever young highlight that we use on our face. We're basically using all the same colors that we use on our face on our chest now. To add some shine as well as some ombre effect to our lips, I'm going to place that gold eyeshadow that we use to highlight our brow bone in the center of my lips and blend it out with my finger. Now I'm just going to curl my hair and put in my contacts and then this look will be done. I said just my hair and my contacts, but I also threw on this gypsy wig that I got off of Amazon. I also threw on some jewelry, this necklace, and these rings that I already have. And I also painted on some symbols to my fingers with some black face paint. And yeah, that's all for this fortune teller look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments, questions, concerns below if you want to. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see all the other looks from my 31 days of Halloween. My Instagram and my Twitter handles will be linked in the bottom bar. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And until next time, bye bye. There was a game. There's a movie too. I like the movie. Like the the movie is based on the game, but I like the movie. I like the game. So do I. But I always cheat. Why? I always wait till like someone walks away and then I look in the envelope. Oh, <laughs> well, what if the person don't walk away? I don't know. But I try. I, I try my best to cheat <laughs> when I play the loop. Um. I usually don't cheat. I'm just like I got an after board FBI analysis inside my system. I had a dream last night. You know how I told you I had a weird dream? Yeah. I, part of my dream, I was stuck inside the f***ing elevator, bro. Oh. <sighs> Hi, guys. I feel so amazing today. Look, I'm like glowing. I definitely got the post boy glow going on. And like, I just want to say it, it gets better. Right, Kara? Mm hmm Like, look at me. I just look so amazing. My life is so great. I'm saying post boy glow. Yes. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You were not 
can't even believe what Shy and them are doing right now. What? Watching High School Musical 2 and eating cookies. Ugh. Is there any more kind of betrayal? Nope. Now I'm just go. Can you just it in? Just it. No, okay. I like the way you work it. I like the way you work it. I'm about to bag it up.